hope you're having an incredible day. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can propagate sedum. And I'm going to be, this is, a, this is the sedum autumn joy plant. I'm going to be showing you how to take cuttings from here. Now, this plant is, is a perennial, which means it dies back in the winter. It grows during the spring, has beautiful flowers as, as here during the summer, and then it dies back right down to the ground. It actually goes back right down to the roots, and this protects it all from all the frost and everything. Then in the, sp the spring, it grows back again. Now, what I'm going to be doing to propagate this, you can propagate it individually from leaves. Just pull a leaf off and pot it into some sandy soil and it will root for you in a few weeks. Or you can, as in this case, I'm actually going to take a cutting right down the bottom to get the stem. Now, what I'd recommend is always to take at least, at least six inches of the actual plant when it comes to taking a cutting of this. And I'm going to be then rooting it in rainwater, which I'm going to be showing you. But you can also take a cutting and also put it straight into a sandy soil mix if you want. In this case, I'd probably use perlite with a bit of Johnny's number two. And all you have to do is just cut back. Obviously, use a clean pair of shears, gardening shears, or big sharp scissors here. I'll just try and get the focus on this right down, right down to the base there, and then give it a Snip like so, and then pull it away. Now, when it comes to taking cuttings, as with all plants, I'd always recommend doing this during the spring and summer, as it's late summer here. It'll give it a chance to form its roots. If you do it too late in the season, then the plant will probably die back and um, give it a good chance to form a good root system. There you go. Now, what I'd recommend also is, when it comes to the bottom leaves, is pulling off the bottom leaves, which I'm going to be doing now. Now, pull off the bottom leaves, like so. Now, what you can do is keep that leaf, I'm going to keep that, and you can pop that up in some sandy soil, and it should form little roots, and a new little plant should grow from it. And then this one here. Now, what I'd normally always do with succulents is I always recommend leaving them for a good, usually at least 10 days to a couple of weeks to let them uh, form a callus before potting them up. But with this one, you don't have to. Um, you can, in fact, I wouldn't recommend letting it callus over. It's unlike a normal succulent. All you need to do is just put it straight into water or straight into your soil mix. It's really up to you what you want to do here. I prefer to use water only because I like to see the roots actually forming while it's in the jar. Probably not so. Now you can use tap water. I prefer to use rainwater. Our water here in Ireland is really, really hard. And um, I find personally myself that since I've been using rainwater, all of my plants have been benefiting. So I'd recommend rooting it in rainwater like that. And it should form in roots usually for in a few weeks' time. And as soon as it forms roots, I'm going to pot it up into a pot. And I would use a soil mix of Johnny's number two, probably about 60 to 70 percent. And then I'd use about 30 to 40 percent perlite, so it's well drained. And um, you can either then, usually I'd recommend once it's formed the roots and you've potted it up and it's got a good, you know, lots of fresh new growth, I'd then recommend you can put it back into the garden again in a well drained spot. But I'd probably recommend for the first the first year to overwinter it indoors when this is rooted I'm going to be keeping this in my conservatory in in a pot and it's going to get plenty of light and sunshine there and then I'm going to pot it out in the spring now the top of the plant dies back in the winter now it might not necessarily be the case because usually it's first winter and overwintering indoors they don't always die back because the energy is going to form in the root system but if it does die back whether you've got it potted up um, and it dies back don't panic it's unlikely the plant is actually dying it's just doing what it normally does and it will grow back from the root ball in the spring so don't throw your plant out um, it's the biggest mistake that a lot of people do when they're the first winter and they're propagating they just think the plant's going to carry on so there you go guys oh yes just to, to let you know i'm going to be putting this here keeping this in my kitchen window now this gets plenty of light as you can see and it gets a tiny bit of sunlight during the morning, but it's not really, really strong sunshine. So when it comes to, to rooting uh, cuttings, um, don't put them in bright sunshine. I'd recommend just in a, a very bright light, but not intense sunshine. There you go, guys. I think that's everything. And um, I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness, as always, from Ireland. Until the next video. Happy growing, guys. Bye.